we are at 146 days to go as of today. Welcome back, Simon here. This video's agenda is I'd really like to get that body mounted back on this frame so we can keep clearing space because it's a little too congested for my liking in here. And I have a very high threshold for congestion. And we have exceeded that long past where I wanted to be. I wanted to be having this marriage ceremony back in March, but you know, things happen in relationships and it takes a little longer to get things to come together like you would think naturally. So we're about a month behind schedule. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna make this all happen. So we gotta kick this frame outside, I think, and then we gotta get this motor moved over onto this side of the garage. Not sure how we're gonna do that. Do I pack the wiring up? Do I leave it all connected? We'll figure that out when we get to it. Then we gotta get the body up in the air. You know, give the old body a good lift. Like a body, body lift. No, that's not funny. So that's what we're up to. And then I don't know what we'll do from there. We'll figure it out. If you haven't seen my other videos, we got bags now, that's cool. You should go check those out for me. Either way, I gotta start figuring out how I'm gonna make this mess into a car. So we gotta stop this chit chat and this gabbing and we gotta get to work now. Where do we start? This is what we call the old quarterback sneak, the old handout trick. Maybe it's a hat trick. Maybe it's a hole in one. I don't know. I don't watch sports. Either way, she is off of one hoist and on to another. Who's a big motor? Who's a big motor? Yeah, you're a big motor. All right, now treat me right. Nice and easy. Let's go. Nice and easy. Come on. Nice and easy. Yeah. Tell you right now, if I drop this thing, I'm gonna cry. What is the hang up here? Is it because you weigh 8,000 pounds? Probably. These wheels are not working with me. I mean, I'm practically on the ground here. Why do you keep going that way? You are literally going the worst freaking way possible. So maybe I could have cleaned the floor a little better. That, maybe that would have been a good idea. Whoa. videos when I go back and watch this when I'm editing it I'll see what was going wrong that I was too impatient to figure out now you will do as you're told Now, while I've only gone and done and cleaned up my garage, moved the motor, and lifted the body back off the cart, this is a huge frickin' step, people, and if you don't understand it, I am sorry. But this, to me, is almost as important as getting that thing running for the first time. The body is off the cart. That only means one thing. It means that frame is close to going underneath it. We gotta do a little prep work, though. These body mounts are no longer needed because we did that S10 swappy roo So they gotta go. I've already done some calculations and, you know, I know about from the body mount, I don't know if you can see that, but that body mount bolt there, I know how far forward and how far back I need to cut out of there. And then really honestly, pretty much this whole floor is going to come out. It's just junk. 
there's just nothing to salvage out of it. And if you didn't know, I, I put suicide doors on this thing. There's a video for that. Whoa. Might have to open the other one up to counterbalance. There we go. Up oh, too far. I got a little extra weight on this side, so it doesn't need to be open as far. Let's shut that heat off. We do not need that going tonight. But I mean, you, it's she's pretty well lightweight already in here, and unfortunately, everywhere it's lightweight is also where a body mount was, so we gotta rectify that problem. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, other than I'm gonna rip the floor out of it, and then I'll probably just start building a new framework in or something. I don't know, we'll just see where the build takes us at that point. I don't really have a plan. Uh, there's not a lot of good metal here. I'm hoping I can find something good and solid to weld to. Mmm, because if not, we might be up Chip Creek without a paddle. But we'll see. I'm usually pretty good about scabbing on to something here. We'll figure it out. Not worried. So yeah, now I just can basically uh, get to cutting, I suppose. I should probably... I mean, we don't need those anymore. Those brake drums are for the front end that we don't even have anymore, so... Those can skedaddle. Same with the ones in the back. You know, I just kind of kept them just in case, and then, well, that's officially not needed anymore, so we should probably just ditch those. Let's get back on track and get focused on this floor, because this floor, that's where we're at. I'd really like to see this body down on that frame and really get some motivation under me, but, you know, we'll just keep plucking away at the feathers, as they say. Do they say that? I don't know. All right, folks, check this out. This was unexpected. This was unexpected. I crawled under here to kind of get a good game plan. Oh, I just blocked my light with my big head. I, I crawled under here to get some kind of game plan for what I was gonna do for the flooring and then I discovered there's, look at the undercoat and I peeled off already. So I just went and grabbed my scraper. And a lot of this is just peeling right off, but That's good metal. Look, I mean, it's still shiny under some of it. So we're gonna peel it off. We're gonna figure out exactly what we're dealing with. Like, I mean, that's still good brand new metal. In the interest of saving money, we're gonna cut the bare minimum. Cause I priced out some steel for redoing the floor structure and all that jazz. Cause I can't bead roll, don't have a bead roll, not buying a bead roller. I mean, I'm gonna have to repair, I'm gonna have to repair some of this obviously. But I can do patchwork, that's no big deal. So I think we're just gonna start with stripping this undercoating off, cut the section of floor out we know we need to cut out. I'm not even sure about the front here. We're gonna have to cut this tunnel out, almost guaranteed. And then we'll just build off of what's already here. Hopefully that'll save me time and money. Or I'll regret this decision and end up cutting it all out anyways. We'll figure that out when we get to that point though. So for now, we're just gonna do this. All right, I'm doing it, I'm tapping out, I'm conceding, I'm giving up tonight. It's freaking late, and I am typical Simon fashion unprepared. None of my batteries for my Sawzall were charged, so I've been fighting that. I'm out of cutoff wheels, so I can't do anything with that, and just nothing's working. So I think it's just time to call it a night, get some sleep, and then uh, can't even work on it tomorrow. Tomorrow we gotta go pick up the transmission for the car, so. That's pretty much gonna kill the day there, but we'll do a little road trip, that'll be all right. So yeah, I got the floor cut out of the trunk. So that's, 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 that's something. I wanna know if anybody appreciates the irony that when I'm working on the top side of the car, I put it on jack stands, but when I was under the car, scraping all that stuff off, I didn't put it on jack stands. Be better than me. <laughs> oh boy, howdy, look at that. Oh my God, we're getting there. The body is starting to go back onto the frame. I can't finish it this morning because I got that road trip. Well, I gotta leave in about 15 minutes to head south to get parts. 
and I don't want to do any welding before I leave and well there's a couple body mounts I should have taken care of when I was doing all my other welding I'm just gonna put a nut on there weld it up take that out there's another one up there on the frame I figured now is probably the best time to do that before I put a body on top of it all I could be wrong but to me that seems like the best way to do it and then we're just gonna go through and check a couple of things and see how we're looking we're gonna lower this baby down this is a freaking big step but we'll have to get back to it we gotta hit that road go get that transmission we need a two-wheel drive. That four-wheel drive was no good, so I sold it. Now we're gonna go pick up the two-wheel drive. Hell yeah, let's go. Well, it is the next day. I'm home. I spent all yesterday, all, all day. It was a late night when we got home finally. We got some parts rounded up. You know, some quality time in the old truck going around the country picking up parts with the family. That's a good bonding experience. Let's put it that way. Anywho, we're back on this pig today. We gotta get this body on this frame. That is happening. It's happening. I'm saying that's happening, but there's a chance I could be forgetting something and it has to come back off again. Let's hope not. We're gonna go for it though. So here, we gotta get them body mount bolts broke, that were broke off. We gotta get, wow, Simon, slow down. Process your thinking before it exits your mouth. We gotta get those broken off body mount bolts out. That's step one. Then we're gonna start setting her down and see how we look. I couldn't find a whole lot to choose from and I didn't look very long, but I found this castle nut. It fits over and I'm hoping if I fill that up with weld, she should work, a little heat. I mean, let's hope. That is not a good enough ground, son of a... So pretty, so, so pretty. Didn't work, didn't, didn't work. I'm not very good at this game. I'm gonna try a different idea. We'll see if this gives me any luck. I don't know if this is gonna work either, but we're trying it. I'm not sure if I got it good or if I made it a hundred times worse and welded something to the frame. I guess that guy's staying there. We're gonna take a little different approach with this one. I'm gonna try some heat and an extractor and see what happens. You know, it's for science. I definitely don't wanna melt the guy away. You can't tell if it's coming out or not. It is not. Oh, these things are really stuck in there. We didn't move at all. It just keeps chewing it up. Wow. It just will not bite to it. <sighs> that one broke too. Son of a... Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. We'll make do. You can't say I didn't try. Nah, I gave her the whole effort, all of it. We tried welding, heat, vice grips, extractors, it just didn't work. So don't fault me because I broke both of them. We'll make do, I'll make adjustments. We'll figure it out, it's not a big deal. I gotta keep moving forward. I'm not gonna spend a day 
drilling out an old body mount and retapping it and making it work. Ooh, no, that's that's not my jam. My jam is production. Let's get it going. Let's move forward. There are other there are other alternatives. I could weld a bolt there and have a stud. You know, it doesn't matter. We could just not use it. There's 30,000 other body mounts, so it's not like it's gonna be that big of a deal. Plus, I'm gonna build other structure. It's gonna be fine. I'm not talking you into it. I'm talking me into it. Anyways, I'm gonna put this body on this frame now. See how that goes for me. Well, we definitely ran into our first snag here. So these wheels are off that Explorer and the offset, I mean, they kick out quite a ways. You can see how far back in the lugs are set up. So we're heading here on this side. It's even worse on that side because that offsets even more because they're two different rims. I did just check the lug pattern. Now I tried putting these wheels on this thing yesterday or the day before when I was working on it and they didn't seem to bolt up right. I don't know why, but I checked the lug pattern on the old rear axle and the lug pattern on the new rear axle and they're the same. I don't know why they weren't bolting up, so we're gonna try again. Maybe I was just moving too fast, too excited, didn't see something obvious, I don't know. I'm gonna throw them on there and see what happens though, because these wheels, the offset looks a lot better on them and hopefully they'll tuck underneath there a little bit better. Otherwise, we're gonna be looking for different fenders to put on or something, I don't know, flares maybe? Uh, who knows? So, news update, those rims, they are the right bolt pattern. The problem is, that center hole, she's a little too small. So, I didn't got a tape measure, but you know. So here's the Ford Explorer rim. We'll just rough measure it here. We'll say two and a half inches. These are the four and a half bolt rim pattern. These are the rims I have. They're two and a quarter. Or two and three eighths. It's enough of a difference to cause a real frickin' problem for me. So these rims won't bolt flat to the mounting surface back here. They're getting hung up on that. I don't know if I... I don't know what my idea, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Cause whatever I do, it's gotta be perfectly centered. This is one of those precise things that has to be right. You can't have any wiggle room in it. Otherwise you're gonna have a hell of a ride. So I might talk to the local fab shop in town and see if he can do something for me. Or maybe I can find another set of rooms that'll work. I don't know yet. But these should at least help me get the body down and whatnot, hopefully. I pray. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be on hold until I can find wheels. And that would suck. We're getting there. So we got to do a little more clearance. I forgot about my kicker on that side of the frame for the pan hard bar. So that's hitting. So I got to cut out for that. And then my C notches, because it's so snug in there, I'm going to clear out around the wheel well a little bit. Like right in here. Just open it up, make it easier for the body to go up and down and I can shift it around a little bit and we'll get her locked in where she needs to be. And then uh, I think we're going to be looking pretty good. She's going to be low. She's definitely going to be low. I mean, I would have liked it a little bit lower, but you know, at this point, I'm going to be pretty happy with this. I've never done this before. I didn't know. I'm figuring it out as I go. That's how we do it. Let's get that notched out and uh, yeah. I think it's hanging up a little bit somewhere here and there, but she is basically down. No, I didn't get all the way to the rocker on the ground. I really wanted to, I just, I, I just didn't. We've been over it, I'm not gonna keep going over it. I still think it looks freaking awesome. I mean, that thing looks, looks pretty amazing if I do say so myself, and I'm happy with it, so that's all that really matters. <laughs> There's a reason I always bought build you know, not lowered vehicles like my Bel Air. That thing's jacked up. My Gasser and Model A, that thing's jacked up, but I have a huge fondness for the lowered stuff.
Damn. All right, I gotta get it squared up a little bit. She's not perfectly squared up where she needs to be, but I'm just, I'm just taking the view in at this point because it's nice. It's it's real nice. It's real nice. Ain't gonna lie, I kind of just been sitting out here admiring this car. I kind of like it. So, but we gotta keep moving, otherwise nothing gets done. I decided I'm just gonna start bolting the body down and get her all squared up where she needs to be and then figure out what we gotta do. Uh, where's my tool? There it is, found my tool. Just rubbing. She's a rubbing. Guy might want to leave them loose, I suppose, huh? I don't know. I don't know it all. Yeah, so I think that's a wrap on filming today because I just broke my tripod, so there's that. We did, however, get the body mounted back to the car. I started putting body mount bolts in, you know, I got them all, these front ones I made are in, these are all in, but the more and more I look at this floor, I don't think there's any save in it. I was going to try and save it to save some cost, but there's just, I don't know how, it doesn't, it's not going to work. I mean, this is all rotted. This is fine here, but it's all rotted back here. I gotta build new body mounts if I want the rockers to be secure. This isn't even the side I was worried about. This side's even worse. I mean, it's, it's, it's gone. You know, I mean, here's the body mount bolt. You can tell she's, there ain't much for structure there left, so there's really not a whole lot to build off of. So you cut this out, put new steel in there. The tunnel's going to have to come out because of drive shafts. So there's going to be new steel. Well, I'm going to save this tiny little bit. No. Unfortunately, it's all going to have to just come out and be redone, I suppose. Um, I'll figure that part out later. We just got to keep moving forward. So I got to get the motor figured out where that's going to go. I'm going to probably end up just cutting this floor out. I'll probably leave a couple body mounts in. I don't know. Maybe I should get the motor and trans in before I cut anything out. Then I know what I got to build for substructure. I just don't know. Yeah, I mean, I kind of been planning this out in my head a little bit, and then I thought I could get away with not cutting it out, but now I'm looking at it again, and I've got to cut it out. It's junk. It's no good. So that's what we're going to do. I will make... This is located here, so the body ain't going to fall. The back's all bolted in. So we should be good for keeping the body located. Did I get that bolt in? Yep, I even got that one in there. So I believe I can cut this whole body out now, this whole floor out, and it won't move anywhere. Cause I got multiple points contacting the frame. I even think I could take some of my supports out here. Not, not that one, of course, but this one could come out. These could all come out and then I could actually fit in there a little better because the fitment right now for me is not so pleasant not so pleasant at all good times i tell you good times but hey if you like the way this car is turning out because let's be honest she's turning out good she's a mean one though all these extra steps that i didn't plan on taking i'm being forced to take but she's looking good Drop a like, comment, subscribe, you know, that whole jazz. I really appreciate it. It helps me out with the channel to help it grow a little bit. I mean, I just like to grow a little. I don't have very high goals, but they're goals. Anywho, thanks for checking out my crap. Don't forget, there's all kinds of cars being built for the build-up. If you don't like mine, you might like somebody else's. Go check them out. Thanks for watching. See ya.